James Superwolf was a pioneer in urban radio for West Tennessee. He made a breakthrough for African American broadcasters and business owners. Now, he's a subject of a documentary produced by a familiar face to television viewers, Southside High School teacher Greg Hammond. He's with us now to talk about the documentary. Greg, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, Logan. Now, the first question, you were a broadcaster before you became a high school teacher. Mm -hmm. How much did that influence you to do this documentary about Superwolf? Well, you know, I went to school to be a storyteller, and uh, I guess it's in my blood. It's something I still love to do. And uh, helping my students through their many documentary projects just kind of stirred in me uh, that love that was already there to tell stories. And so, uh, Helping them through telling a story in kind of a long story format form, um, just, I, I, I had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what makes James Wolfe uh, such an interesting personality? What makes James Super Wolf an interesting personality? Uh, number one, I think, is because he, he transcends uh, communities. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're from in Jackson or West Tennessee, you know James Wolfe. Uh, whether you knew him when he was a DJ uh, back in the 70s and early 80s, or if you knew him as a radio station owner of Kix 96. Uh, for me, I grew up hearing about him. You know, my mom, my uncles, they talked about him. He would DJ at the local high schools, and uh, everyone just kind of watched his rise to radio station owner. Yeah. So in that documentary, uh, you mentioned uh, his early days as a DJ. Did it focus more on those days as a DJ or really versus his years as a broadcaster? Or is it a solid mixture of the two? I think it's a solid mixture of the two. Uh, the documentary could be longer. Um, it's right around 26 minutes. And uh, I have a goal of airing the documentary on a PBS station. And so PBS has their uh, time frame they want their programming in. So this being my first documentary, I needed something to aim for. And so uh, that number kind of helped me uh, put it in that 26 minute uh, capsule. But yeah, I think it's a good mix of his upbringing and what he was able to do after he created the radio station. Yeah, how did his years at Lane College uh, really influence him to become an entrepreneur? Yeah, uh, when you think about it, it was kind of a um, it, he was at a crossroads, right? Uh, he grows up in the Arkansas Delta, uh, has a love for radio, earns a football scholarship at Lane College, and so he's here to play football, but still he had that love for radio. And so uh, he had a professor, and this is mentioned in the documentary, although I don't want to give too much away. Right. Uh, he had a professor who just uh, kind of helped stir that, that love for radio, and uh, he was uh, actually uh, one of the uh, students that helped build the first radio station in Lane College. And your documentary is going to be at the Memphis Film Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, uh, the Memphis, the Indy Memphis Film Festival, uh, it's in the first week of November. I'm very excited. Uh, when I made this documentary, you know, I have friends and family say, great, great job. But, you know, it's different for uh, professionals, for film critics to, to say, hey, this is good. So uh, I'm thrilled about that. And uh, I'm excited, not just for this year about the uh, Indie Memphis Film Festival, but uh, studying documentaries. Now that I know that the Indie Memphis Film Festival is right down the road, uh, even after this year, I plan to stay connected. Uh, Rain Wilson, uh, most people know him as one of the actors from The Office. He's going to be at the film festival, one of the big draws. So uh, it's really cool to have a regional film festival relatively in our backyard. Yeah, it sounds like an interesting festival, and it sounds like an interesting story. Uh, thank you so much for your time here today. Thank you, Logan.